So you must have learned, uh, you you read uh, about Anne Frank? Yes, did, we, did we you? learned a lot. We watched um, that old film about her too, which I found to be very interesting, but sad. Yeah, and, and what, what did you learn from that? Um, we basically learned how life was for them. It was terrible. They were based, they were hiding in a hidden room in an attic for was it nine months? Um, I'm pretty sure it was like almost two years. Wow, that was, it's crazy. Like, and I can't imagine, like you can't make a sound, you can barely move, you're doing nothing all day. You're trapped in a cramped space with like a good seven other people. Like, I, I don't know how they did it to be honest, but, and with all the cannon fire that was going on at times outside the city. Well, and it surprised me how and sometimes they were so joyful in such dark times. They could find light in the darkness, basically. They could make good out of such a terrible situation. And I find Anne Frank a big inspiration along with Andy because he kept being positive even in a, a time where, where people of her religion were being hunted, pretty yeah. much. Treated like they weren't human just because of what they believed in, which I find disgusting. Yeah. Since you brought up Anne Frank, Mark, I just wanted to show, this is the poster, this is the sign that, that we were asked to hold up um, and post on our Twitter accounts on Holocaust Remembrance Day, and Anne, um, you know, features prominently in there and says, all of us are born with inherent worth and dignity that cannot be taken away. Make the pledge. Mm -hmm. And I just, I found that very moving. And so the, the instructions that we all received and that, that wasn't contained also in the letter that you sent was to print that out post it on that day and also hang that up in our offices and, and we've all done that. So we, we are reminded each day of the message that, that you're giving us. Yeah, and as I said earlier, how could you look at Anne, an innocent little girl, and say, I want to put you in a death camp and kill you? Like, what did she ever do to you? She's just a kid. Yeah. She, just like us, she was around our age. Like, it's like, um, not seeing anyone that is Jewish made as God's in God's image. All of us were made in God's image, and we you should treat everybody as they are God because you want um like to like imagine you were in their position. You don't want to be treated as bad as every like Holocaust person was treated. Yeah, the thing is, you do not judge someone of anything like the religion, gender, sexuality, as I said earlier, you, you judge them off how they are as a person. And all these uh, Jewish people, they were innocent. They hadn't ever done anything to Germany or Hitler or the Nazis, yet they still went after them for just living their lives.